In today's video, we are going to paint some pots and pot some plants. As you can see, I have three flower pots that really need a modern update. Stick around, you can watch me paint them in fast motion. So sorry, no painting footage for that pot. Now for succulents. So I haven't ever done this before, but I've watched a bunch of videos. And I'm going to attempt to take these very, very leggy succulents and transplant them in a tray. They tell you to just put about half an inch soil in. Likely my soil will uh, has too much of this white stuff in it, which holds water and succulents don't like to have their feet wet. But they are in a, gonna be right in a dew facing, south facing window and they everything else dries out pretty quick. You're supposed to take a spray bottle and sp just a few squirts once or twice a week. And uh, apparently it's very, very simple. So we're going to see this is, I am a total amateur. Like I said, I have a lot of plants, never tried to prop propagate succulents. So we're going along for a ride. Take, they say, take this right out. Just like that. It has a little bit of a head to cut it off and stick it back in your dirt, which I'm going to do because I love this little pot. Um, and then you take each one of these and lay them out and just give them the littlest mist and in about 30 days, I guess, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter, we'll see. You'll get a new little start. So. Go ahead and cut this back, I say right here. Just like that. This is the one I'm going to put back in here. Just like that. We'll see how that even works. This is a piece of a jade. I have a jade plant and uh, they, I think you do the same thing. I don't know, we're going to see. I'm gonna put him right there. You may be able to cut the stalk off of a jade, which I may do. I don't know if I'll get to it in this video, but so then you can, I don't know if you cut them or you break them, but you can see him getting all kinds of little hairs there. It wants to do something more than it's doing. Oh, look, that one came off. And I have seen people make pretty cool little designs with them. So at least it's something pretty to look at while it's growing. Let's make a little design right here. 
I don't know if the big one will work or not, but I don't know if you face it up or down. I would say probably down. Gonna be a big giant learning curve. That one. So I'm gonna do these, this kind. Go ahead and make two of them for you. This is what I've seen other people try to make it pretty while you're trying to get it to grow. I'm gonna do these, I forget what they're called. But you can do the same thing with these pearl something, something, somethings. I'm going to make a few of them. See, it's growing good. Maybe I'll stick this back in. So I can still have one here. Some kind of a pearl. I don't know. Cut that back. I think at one point we moved here and they just get a better light, but at the old house, um, I just, I think they were getting blocked out of light. I'm gonna sprinkle these around because they're so little. Now I have this one too, same thing. The question is, it just keeps dying off. So I'm, it's not getting any bigger. I'm gonna cut it off. This is one of my favorite kinds chicken and hens. Let's see how it goes. We'll put it right there. Get a new start. Now I have this cactus and it's doing okay. It hasn't changed at all and I've probably had this stuff a year. And this cactus was in it. Now it got a bunch of these little, the white buds weren't all there. It just started going crazy. Makes me wonder if I could pop them off and start new ones. Let's just try a couple. Will it hurt it? We're just going to take one of your little arms. I'm so sorry. Let's put it out here and see. I don't want to touch it. It's pretty uh, prickly. Now we'll see if that'll work. I did want to get it back in the dirt though, because we all know it won't last long on. It came in a basket with a bunch of other cactus. I actually had a huge back basket of all of this stuff and transplanted a bunch of it to other pots while I, because it was so many, that's why I bought the basket, $20 a basket, and it was probably three or four times as many plants. This is just the first one. I have another 10 for the next batch, but I thought I would show you this, and we'll see if anything will happen with it. So I forgot to mention how this process even works. You take this off and this is everything I've heard or read up on. And you want to get that right there. It'll be a little damp if your plant's doing, you know, halfway okay. And um, the whole thing is to let that dry out. It needs to harden over and get a skin on it. Um, and then you water it. I've heard that over and over from many different garden channels or, you know, um, succulent channels. Let that little edge, the damp little edge, get a skin on it. it takes about a day or two and then mist it with water. Don't, do not drown it, just a little tiny mist. And you check it every three, four, five days, at least once a week, give it a little mist. Now my stuff is gonna be in direct sunlight the whole day. So I'm gonna check it every other day just to make sure. Hopefully we'll see something in a month or two, just in time to get ready to put out for spring. Did you enjoy that video? If so, hit that subscribe button. Then you'll be notified when I come out with part two. Everyone wants to see what happens with the succulents. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so now. And if you liked the video, please share it with a friend.